Parker Hannafin brands itself as a motion and control company, and we look at ourselves uh, and segment that into nine broad technology platforms. That broad view of the world and of markets gives us really unique opportunity to create new value because we have this visibility that others just don't have. Traditionally, Parker would have been viewed as a mechanical engineering dominated business. That's changing. We saw it first in aerospace about 10 or 15 years ago as aircraft started to move to more electric and now to software. We see the same thing happening over the industrial part of our business, IoT or Internet of Things, where our customers are recognizing that there's a whole new class of microprocessors and sensors. If you take that sensor technology and you embed it into other things like a hydraulic pump or hydraulic motor, and then we can stream data off of this device back to a central place to have a new level of intelligence, which then allows them to attain a level of control that was unimaginable even 10 years ago. Now we can see where we can create service industries around the hardware that we already have. We talked about voice of the customer for the last 20 years, how it was really important, and it is very important, to go out and talk to our customers about what challenges do they face. We've trademarked voice of the machine, and we've never heard from them before. And now that we've given them voice, we're starting to see things that we've never seen before, and opens up all kinds of opportunity for new ways of thinking about how we can service our customer. The world is a much different place today than it was 100 years ago and it'll be a much different place 10 years from now. You know, the rate of change is increasing, so we have to be able to adapt, and I think the company's really good at that. The Fluid Connectors Group reinvented the hydraulic hose. They developed a process by which they can make a hydraulic hose that's stronger and more flexible with less material. But the real breakthrough for us occurred in the manufacturing process. The technology that we use to create the machines that actually produce the hose is our motion and control technology. So here we are leveraging deep domain knowledge that we have to create brand new machines that have never existed before on the planet to manufacture a hose that's never been made before in a new way, in a more efficient way. We have to become very, very good at adapting and changing because if we don't do it, somebody will do it for us. One of the products that really stood out was from the pump motor division. So this is in Greenville, Tennessee. Historically, they made hydraulic motors. They found their way into commercial turf equipment for mowing and things like that. Their customers were no longer content to simply buy the hydraulic motor. They wanted to buy the hydraulic pump, the fans, everything integrated into one system from one supplier, somebody who would take responsibility for the entire drive line. And today, they're one of the lead players in this commercial turf care market. So this one product, not only was the product itself successful, it actually reinvented the entire business. 2016 was a year of contrast. On the one hand, we had a lot of significant headwinds in our, some of our core markets, but from an innovation standpoint, those headwinds create incredible potential for us because our customers in tough times are hungry for new solutions. So it's really incumbent on us to leverage this incredible knowledge base that we have to create new customer value, and I think Parker's uniquely positioned to do that.